Hello, this is Peter from the IDEA team. In the Exploring IDEA series, I will show you how to go from publication to an IDEA study. We will start in the PubMed library and search for a paper about which I know that its data are stored in IDR. Uh, then we will explore that study in IDR and its metadata. Starting at the search engine of PubMed, I will start searching for the first author of the publication, and uh, which is Blin, and then I know that the publication deals with segmentation. I'm finding the publication here. It's introducing a tool called Nessis, which is a tool for uh, automated segmentation of nuclei within uh, some tissue models such as uh, mouse blastocysts. And it's coming from Sally Lowell's lab in the University of Edinburgh. I need the full text of the publication, uh, which is freely available in PLOS Biology. I will start searching inside the publication for data availability section, which claims that the data has been deposited in the image data resource IDR under accession number 62. I click on the link to IDR and land in the IDR homepage and start searching for 62, which is the number I remember from the publication. I get one autocomplete suggestion on which when I clicked, I uh, get one thumbnail, click on that again, and I will land in an environment which we call Omero Web. This is so to say inside IDR, Omero being the software underlying IDR. On the left hand side, the top container representing a study is selected. Study is a unit of submission into IDR associated with one particular publication. Under that container, we have some subcontainers which we call datasets. I will expand the first dataset. It contains three images. Thumbnails of those images are in the center pane. I will zoom into the center pane and select the first image. The most important metadata for that image are to be found in the right hand side pane. I will go into the attributes tab in a separate video. In the attachments tab, we have for this particular publication, a set of TIFF images for each of the images, one TIFF image. Uh, the TIFF images are containing labels and they were also submitted by the authors of the publication. The labels are representing the segmentation which the authors performed on the images of mouse blastocysts uh, we are studying here. During the curation process, the labels inside the TIFF images were turned into regions of interests, ROIs, inside the IDR itself and we can see those regions of interest overlaid over the uh, mouse blastocyst images. For that, I will have to double click on the thumbnail in order to open it in a full viewer. A new tab opened in my Firefox and the full viewer um, of IDR opened. I can do that with any image inside IDR. Uh, the full viewer of IDR is called Omero iViewer, and uh, I can view in it Z stacks as I'm doing right now by sliding the slider on the left. If I have a, a video, if I have a time lapse on my hands, which uh, this is not the case, uh, I would have a time axis on the bottom and could play the time lapse in iViewer as well. Furthermore, iViewer enables you to uh, manipulate the rendering settings. Uh, this means the way the image is displayed on the screen. For example, uh, you might not be used to view nuclei uh, as yellow, so I will turn the DAPI channel uh, to be blue, like so, and the Lamin B channel to be yellow, like so. I can also manipulate the maximum display intensity, uh, which I'm doing just now using the slider next to the channel button. I can go to the original state by simply refreshing the page. Then I will switch off the DAPI channel because I know this is better for display of the ROIS, which uh, I am here mainly to show you. So I will go now and click on the ROIS tab. 
and the regions of interest are loading. Uh, these are the mask types of um, the regions of interest of the type mask, which were turned uh, into ROIs in IDR from the labels submitted uh, by the authors in those tips as mentioned previously. IDR enables reanalysis of the data stored in IDR. And in this particular case uh, of this study, uh, we are providing an environment with Jupyter Notebook where you can uh, run such reanalysis using alternative packages uh, to the ones used by the authors of the paper and then compare the results. How to build such an uh, analysis environment will be introduced in a separate video, which you will find soon on the Open Microscopy YouTube channel. I will go back to the Omero web, select the top level container representing the study, uh, and study its metadata on the right hand side. In the attributes section, I have uh, some very important uh, metadata such as license information and publication DOI on which when I click, I will land in the PLOS biology in the publication uh, on which I started my video. Thank you very much for your attention. Bye.